Yeah, and the, the, the groundhog was totally right, and I'll tell you why, because I saw it earlier today, I saw, it's totally going to be spring, because I saw a robin and a cardinal together. I mean, not together together, that would be sick, but, but you know, just, you know, them hanging out together, chirping around, any, any, no, 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 I'm going to, I'll let you know when, no, no, I'll let you know when we're filming, we're not filming. Anyway, the, the, the robin and the cardinal were, oh. We are filming. We are filming, yeah. Come on in. It's the perfect way to end an imperfect week. It's the perfect way to end an imperfect It's East Nashville Happy Hour. Oh my God. With our very special guest, Smooth Hound Smith. Right on the wings of the angels of love. We're on our side. It's the perfect way to say. My, I put my finger in, uh, in front of that like yeah, eight <laughs> times. But it's good enough. Happy, happy hour, music fans. Thank you. I don't know if you share. Do you guys want little plates to nibble on? Maybe I'll stick to the, the liquid happy hour. Hmm. These look like Brussels sprouts. So I'm going to sit, sit here? Yep, and I'll sit over here. <laughs> you cut off your nose. Yeah, it was, I was fresh not expecting it. Do we right. have enough light? Yes, we have. Yes. Do we stop if we mess up or do we just keep doing it? No, we just keep going. I feel like you guys should sit on phone books or something. So we're all like close to the same height. Phone? Who has a fucking phone I don't book? know. Okay. Nobody has a phone book. Uh, it's been a while since we've we've done our thing. So I'm Dean, that's Jay, and you've seen this guy before, Andrew Leahy, but... Now, an official East Nashville Happy Hour co-host. Whoa! Yeah, congratulations. Hey. Thank you. Mainly, Thank he's you. just really good looking, so we put him in the middle there just to kind of make oh. us look better. <laughs> We're here with Smoothhound Smith. That's Zach Smith and K Caitlin Doyle, Doyle Smith. Smith. You like? Yes. You have the little. I think. Yeah. Okay, I have bad news. Uh oh. Uh oh. Just let this digest for a while, and then sink. It'll sink in, and then you can figure out what to do from here. I was telling somebody that you're going to be here, and I was type. It was texting because I don't talk on the phone, as I don't think anybody should anymore. But, and I was t texting your name, and it and it finished. The, what's it called? Auto. Oh, auto correct. Z a c h. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's Z -A offensive. Z-A-C-K is what it should be. That's right. And then... Oh, Lord. Woo! This is like a stripper name or something. It was yeah. K-A-I-T-L-Y-N. Yeah. I mean... Two N's, though, right? That, there wasn't two N's. Do two N's and then, like, like a, a heart emoji? Because I nice. feel like that would be the true <laughs> stripper. <laughs> that might be nice. But yeah. I just... You're, the way you spell your name is so much classier. It's the true Gaelic spelling. Right. C-A-I-T-L-I-N yes. is the way it should be. And then unfortunately, uh, it auto-filled your band name as Smooth Pound Smith. Ooh! So... I think your phone has got a mind of its own. Smooth Pound. So that whole stripper <laughs> thing is... It could be <laughs> risque. You could get a job at the Smooth Pound. <laughs> maybe they thought it was like a, you put the dog in the pound. Maybe it's not right. a sexual thing. I don't yeah. know. It still anyway, sounds pretty sexual to me. Yeah. Just keep that in mind. I don't know if you need to talk to Apple or what, but Probably that Siri. needs to be fixed. Um, okay, that's how I started the whole thing. That's why I just decided that I was going to start it. Cool. Now what should we do? What are you guys drinking? Sapporo. Oh, yeah. Sapporo. Yeah. And why are we drinking Sapporo? Well, we also have a little sake, and that's because I was playing with one Mr. Andrew Leahy, up, mm. and uh, we, we were up in so. Appleton, Wisconsin. And uh, what was the what was it called? Mile Miles, of music. Mile, mile, just singular mile. Singular. Mile of music. 
that's where I met these two. Mm-hmm. And Andrew and you guys were already friends, right? Sure. And we had sushi and we just sake bombed ourselves into oblivion. So, so ever since then, yeah. we've been trying to get these guys to come by. It's been kind of hard. You guys are doing we're so busy. much yeah, stuff. Yeah, we're gone a lot. But, but a yeah. sake bomb, that'll, that'll bring us over. <laughs> right. Funny thing about that night, we just went back up four months later for New Year's Eve. And completely unprompted, the server no. that we had that night sent that me a Facebook message and was like, "What's up, dude? You're coming back up." I well, think... he was there. We were there for quite a long time. Yeah, we and he was there down. until he was asked to leave, like the end of his shift, yeah. right? And and then he came and got special permission to just stay with us. <laughs> did he drink? With us? I don't remember yeah. that. I believe he did. Oh, we liked you, waiter man. Yeah. We liked you. You're a good guy. Yeah, you helped us. You did. Helped. I mean, because it was crowded that night. Gyoza. Yeah. Ooh, those are good. Sake. Mm-hmm. Edamame. Yeah, I think we closed that place down. Dude, we Ooh. crushed some edamame <laughs> that night. It was like four <laughs> plates of that shit. You're, you're on the road a lot. It's yeah. We are. And when we're home, we just we don't leave the house a lot, you know? I don't well, like what? putting on pants. No, no. Okay. Don't you just hate pants? I do. <laughs> hey, the hour is young. You can do whatever you want to do. We no sponsors means we can do whatever the fuck. I noticed you have cheese and say whatever the fuck we want to say. There's cheesecloth. Yeah, cheesecloth. That's for juicing our other roommate who was gonna be here, but he's we're we're juicing. Explain the cheesecloth. Yeah. What I use cheesecloth for is if you make if you make pop brownies and you need to like really like wring all the juice out of the. No legal. We don't do anything. You um use cheesecloth. Pop brownies. Pop. Yeah, pop. Yeah, pop. 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 <laughs> Coca Cola. It's good for that. It's flavored brownies. Pop. Um, right. How often are you guys touring as a duo versus a trio or more these days? Oh yeah. Well, the last few, I guess the last few runs we've done have been as a trio, mm-hmm. but uh, pretty much everything before that, give just or take, a show here and there has been just the two of us. Yeah. And when it's trio, it's you and a bassist. Yeah. Uh, it's actually us and like a baritone. Guitar player slash electric guitar player. Utility man. He plays bass sometimes. He does play bass yeah. a little bit. Sometimes it's just your thumb that's playing bass, right? Yep. Sometimes that's it. I'm like, I don't need to pay a bass player. I got a thumb. <laughs> You're multi-instrumentalist, obviously. Yeah, so our setup is I do foot drums and guitar and vocals and harmonica. And Caitlin sings and plays auxiliary percussion. So. Yeah, I sleep all night. Since you let me go. Between the two of us, hopefully we sound like at least three people. Mm -hmm. And I don't mean to lessen Zach's involvement here, but the whole tambo thing that you do is not (laughs) any small thing. Mm -mm. And it's always right on. I mean, it's not just an auxiliary, oh yeah, she, of course she's going to play tambourine. No. It, and you <laughs> work that shit into the arrangements, and it's like you really put thought behind your arrangements. And how, how often do you find yourself in the studio thinking about how you're going to do this live if you're just the two of you? Ooh, I or, think every time. Often, yeah. 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 And I think we're going to grow the band, make it a little bigger, so that we can have the songs sound more like they do on the record. Okay. Yeah. Because they're Cause, bigger cause sound. Because they are making a record right now. Yes. Mm-hmm. How, how far along how, are we? Seven songs? We are two-thirds. Yeah. Okay. Roughly. Ten songs? Eleven songs? Ten, eleven, nine, yeah. who knows? Right. It'll be a full length. Throughout. Right. It will be a full length. Mm-hmm. At least 30 minutes. Okay, good. Is it a departure at all, or kind of the same? What would you say? I. It's just really good. I'm really. I'm very excited about this album. I think the third album is going to be a good one, and you know we've been playing for about five, six years now. Yeah. So we're kind of finding our sound. Damn, half a decade. I know, right? Yeah. And you look like. I mean, you're. You look like you still like each other we for do. the most yeah. part. Yeah. Yeah. They're married, by the way. Sometimes it's like, well, don't tell them that we're married. We don't, you know, we want to yeah, keep well, the mystery, yeah. but that it's 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 a part of. There's your no mystery vibe. left when you're married. <laughs> it's a totally open relationship to everybody. You know? <laughs> Just so, because sometimes you you see, you know, ooh, 
that person's attractive. Oh, they're, I don't want to be a fan of that band anymore because they're taken. So, the, yeah, totally open relationship. We've had... So we've it's going to get you like yeah. 10,000 more fans. We've, we've I, had swingers approach us. I just really? did it. Yeah. Uh, what, like at shows? Yeah. yeah. Do you think there's Flag something about your music? Arizona. Yeah. All in all, Flagstaff. Yeah. That was interesting. It was. What, how did they how they lay it all out, what they say? So it was a couple, and uh, the woman was about 5'10", 5'11", with her heels on. Big, voluptuous woman. Mm-hmm. And the man that she was with was about 20 to 25 years her senior. Maybe with his cowboy boots on, I'd say. He, he might have been pushing 5'2". Uh, maybe. Small, tiny little cowboy. and uh, Lots of... Fun things you can do with that uh, setup. I can like, I can handle things of a of that kind of nature. Uh-huh. I like sick jokes, you know, the whole thing. This was a little gross. Oh, the vinyl <laughs> thing! Uh-huh. You got to tell the vinyl thing. So they bought a vinyl and they were super excited about it. And the whole time she was like rubbing up on Zach, and I can do this because he's my husband. She was like rubbing her much. boobs on him. And this is a reenactment. <laughs> and she, how did it go? Like you, <laughs> we sold her the vinyl. She asked if we could sign it. And we said, yes, absolutely. And I said, all right, well, I'll, I'll take it out, you know, of the wrapper. And she takes her fingers and she opens up the vinyl and she goes, I like to part it. Like to spread it, she yeah. said, didn't you? Oh, She's spread like, it. I like to spread it. And I was like, oh, God. And she looked like oh. deeply into your eyes. I don't understand like, what spread. What? Yeah, yes, yes, exactly we'll that. Talk. Exactly we'll talk what you just did. I'm okay. getting flushed just thinking about it because it was so gross Aww. and so forward. Was Zach here? Forward for sure. Now, did you hear her say gross. this? Gross. I did. And, yeah. And so what was your reaction? I was like, Caitlin, she likes to spread it. <laughs> and then I was like, anybody have a Sharpie? It was, it was too much. I oh, I get it now. But yeah, that's what, there we go. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> just the two, that's yeah. exactly, thank you. That made the story a lot better with the prop. Oh man, Herb Alpert. Herb Alpert. <laughs> Tijuana Brass. That's Sexual prop at large. It's one of those stories that still makes me feel icky, <clears throat> even retelling it four years later. But there's so many stories that outweigh that in terms of being wonderful road. Uh, but occurrences. those are the boring ones. That's true. Yeah. These are the fun ones. So, uh, did they then say, "Hey, we're swingers and doing the come swing"? They did not, they were not that direct. They were just, they were dropping hints. Exactly. Like, hey, I'm just going to leave the key to yeah. our hotel room here. <laughs> it's happened a few times. Uh, in the tip jar, they, they'll drop it in with like a post-it with the room number. Really? Really? Yeah. Wow. That's, there's something. Yeah. What am I doing wrong oh, yeah. out on the road? <laughs> I, I never get that. I think there's, there's, there's something in your key. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're like, they better come or else we're not getting it. <laughs> yeah. like, oh, we'll be in the well, hallway. You always get two keys. Sweet when you show up, right. okay, sake bomb. <laughs> I would love to see you guys do a sake bomb. Can we? Yeah, can do we, one now. Do one now. Can we hit this table. Well, that's the no, thing. No, we and can't I, make a mess like that. And oh, also, right. well, you we can make a mess, but this will just fly the navigator. The uh, microphone. The orb of truth is still here, everybody. Yay! What's the tape for? What is the tape for? Um, so it won't fall apart. Fair enough. Well, can you just like pour in the sake bomb ingredients? Well, that's the thing. We also do not have chopsticks. Is there another way to? Let's just pound our beers, guys. Wait, are you still that? Yeah, we can just. I didn't know you were supposed to use chopsticks. Smooth pound smith. You have the drink, and you do like a lattice work of chopsticks. You put the lattice work of chopsticks. (laughs) (laughs) Is it not a lattice work of chopsticks? I know exactly what you mean, so I guess that's right. Yeah, I just I've never heard it so articulately. And then you pound the table. And you make a big mess, but the lattice work of chopsticks comes apart in the shot. You spread, uh, like, you, you spread the yeah, lattice you spread work. The chopsticks. For sure. <laughs> spread the lattice work. Um, so you, you guys are from California. Yes. Both of you. Where's the California mm-hmm. one? Yes. That's it. I was reminded that like everybody else here you know, has California heritage history. You guys yeah. are not from California, but That's you true. spend a lot of time there, except for me. I've been there yeah, twice. Yeah, you've been there, but you have not yes. lived there. This is the sake we may or may not be drinking. Tozai! Mm. Typhoon? Futsushu? Wait, why aren't you going to drink it? I mean, we can try to you know, drink it. Totally it. drink it. Let's stop talking. It's yeah. East Nashville happy hour! That's the whole point. Yeah. We're going to do one of our favorite segments. Map it out! <laughs> Caitlin loves it. Who wants to go first? I'll go first. Ladies first? Sure. 
Caitlin Doyle Smith, where were you born? Fresno, California. And then where'd you move to? Los Angeles. Okay. I and? lived with my grandma. She was my first roommate in Westwood, Westwood, California. I sat down with my brother and we counted that I've had up until I moved in with this guy, 32 different roommates. Holy crap. I'm yeah. the 33rd roommate? Yes. Wow. Yes. And lived in about six different places in 13 years. Holy Damn. And then I moved to... In L.A., though. Yeah. Like the L.A., yeah. L.A., Palmdale, mm. Santa Monica, Studio City, Hollywood, all over. And then after yeah. that, um, I moved to England. I lived there for about eight months. I went to school there. Really? Yes. I always loved the international ones. Yes. Yeah. And then I came back with a fake mm. accent. And then I moved <laughs> Not, back to uh, L.A. That's around the time we... Two years later, we met. We met. Okay. Had you lost the accent by then? Yes, but now that we live in Tennessee, I have oh, another fake yeah. accent. It's fake, but I love it. This is fake? <laughs> I don't know. Sounds right I don't to think me. it sounds like an okay, accent. Okay, good, 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 good. I don't think either of you have an accent. <laughs> so, it was L.A. then too? Yeah, and then and then he started. All right. So now on to you. Zach Math Smith of Smooth Hound Smith. I was born in Santa Monica, California. Born in Santa Monica? Born and raised. From Los Angeles. From Los Angeles. Just like the Everclear oh. song. Santa Monica, ah. we can live beside the ocean. Leave it far behind. I, mean, I have now. swum out past the breakers on numerous occasions. And watch the, the world die. Yeah. <laughs> ah, it's a little. Yeah. That was my first. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> okay, what do we do now? I think we, I glass, always right forget. Now. I'm just gonna drink. I'm gonna go one at a time. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna, gonna, gonna go for it. I feel like I don't have enough beer in the shot glass. I don't have enough. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. We'll, we'll get here. Can I have a little sake if I don't have a sake bomb? Nope. Mm. Some shit. Are you sober? Of course. No. Oh. no. I'm, I'm going to drink soccer. <laughs> I'm not running in the <laughs> so, so offended. No. no. Uh, <laughs> don't I have to? You have to. Yes. But you're going to have to do it. He's going to have to do it with the Indiana glass, though. That's I don't care. Glass. I like how he's like, don't I have to? Don't I have to? I, I have do, to, right? don't I? Do I have do? to. Thank you. Do, 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 do. No, you don't. Yes, you do. So, <laughs> is this Ohio? Yes. I think so. Oh, you <laughs> dick. No, it is Ohio, right. but even that you have to ask. Aren't you from Indiana, though? Ohio first, and then Indiana. I just okay. knew it was Ohio because the bottom of it is shaped like the top of Kentucky. Can I just pour it in like this? Yeah. You're yeah. probably going to have to. That's a fuck ton of sake. That's a lot of sake. Holy <laughs> shit. I'm going to drink. I'm going to drink. I'm gonna drink Jesus it Christ, Jay. Am I sober? My ass. So we drop it in, right? I'm just going to sure. pause it again. Boop. One, two, three, go. Sake bomb. Sake bomb. Did you try the whole thing? Um, I don't know. Maybe? I feel like I'm not, I'm not taking part in this. Damn, Dean's got it. And Zach is next. And then Jay. Okay. Well, it's not a race. My eyes are watering. <laughs> oh. That's, now I remember why those are so good. Did we fit, yeah. uh, finish, map it we out? We did not. I don't know. Oh, let's Santa start Monica. over. Santa Monica was where you were born. Santa Monica. You went all around Marvis LA. Marvis to Culver City, Venice. Nothing east of the 405. And then uh, visited Nashville in 2010 for the first time. Decided on the spot I was going to move there. Wow. And then what did six it? months later, I just liked it. It was clean. Uh, nobody honked their horns. Traffic <laughs> at the time was, right? was good. Did you? Were you thinking, <laughs> I want to get out of L.A. and go somewhere? I was thinking, yeah, basically. I want to write... I want to write songs and I'm too self-conscious to do it in front of people that I've grown up with. Well, really? Yeah. So what? Uh, this isn't the first... Group, you've been in though. Yeah, like it saying is. no, not first group, but I've sang backups and played in bluegrass bands. Weren't you in the Twenty Third Street Blues Breakers? I don't like to talk about those days. <laughs> I knew about those days. <laughs> <laughs> Jay doing some research. What's going on? Bass. That was drums and two guitars. No bass. Yeah. No bass. It was his first band. My yeah. first band. Bass always gets the short shrift. Yeah. And what was your first band called? Kindred Spirit. Kindred Spirit. Mm -hmm. Dean, what was your first band called? Crying Shame. <laughs> Not crying. Crying. Oh, stylized. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. How about you? Overdrive. Yes. One word. Overdrive. Hyphenated. One word. Nice. Overdrive. We covered a Misfits song. We thought we were cool Which one? as shit. We are 138. Well, are. Nice. Uh, Jay? Um, I was in a band called. Quick Silver Messenger Service. <laughs> <laughs> no, you weren't. Yeah, then I, then I left and they went on to do some things. But uh, yeah, that's correct. It's not correct. What's your, what was your first? <laughs> um, my first band ever was called Rolling Thunder. 
What is the lyric in that ACDC song? I'm a rolling thunder and power, powering rain. It sounds like powering rain, but I don't think that's... Pounding! No, pounding Powerade is what it is. That's what it is. <laughs> I feel like the, the bluesiness of your music comes from a pretty genuine place. Like Blues music seems to, to really legitimately have a place in your songs that is genuine. Blues is that artistic through line that's always kind of there and it seems like a genuine thing and I guess the reason that that came to mind is that Do you guys have like an artist who is your like bedrock artist? Like for me, um, you know, I listen to a lot of like Tom Petty and like uh, Bruce Springsteen. To me, those just sound right and um, that I think forms the like foundation of what I do. Do you guys have like a person like that or an album like that or a genre We're like that? We're kind of different in our influences and what we gravitate towards. Um, Man, I don't know. That's a good it's question. It's really tough. Can, tough I, question. can I say what I think? What Fuck yeah, you can yeah. say what you think. You know, and I know you guys. I'm Please a, end this I'm awkward a, silence. I'm a huge blues <laughs> guy. I'm a, I spent about three years only blues. Sonny Terry and Brownie McGee. The kind of stuff that you guys do. Oh, had I a golden thread of rainbow design, I'd reach my magic band. You're listening to Sonny Terry and Brownie McGee. Two old friends. Every now and then our paths cross and we get an opportunity to sit down and swap a few songs and stories. I got the key to the highway. All right. That stompy. Real. Yeah, what? a lot of a lot of Mississippi John Hurt. Yeah, the beginning. I love that. John Lee Hooker moving through time. Uh, Paul Simon and, and Jim Croce were, were kind of my guys growing up. And there's a book and there's a documentary of this uh, of the same name about the Chitlin Circuit. Have you guys seen that? I've heard of it. Yeah, it's really uh, based on that kind of like organic thing that that you guys specialize in creating that percussive sound and creating that kind of backdrop using only well you know at its core two people that's sort of like proto rhythm and blues kind of thing right like. what I can say is it it definitely stemmed from a love of that style of music and then a necessity in order to make this our profession to be able to entertain regardless of how the venue was if it's a loud bar <laughs> and there's two of us like we can't get up there and sing into one microphone and right. do some like sensitive ballad with finger pick guitar like Quietly, like it's yeah. gotta, it's gotta fucking True. kick the shit out of people right in the face, you know. A lot of times, if you're playing to an audience who hasn't heard you, you gotta entertain them at least, right? Yeah. And it kind of sounds like, and it's really refreshing that you guys really hone in on, hey, let's make this show completely fun in any way we possibly can, and then get our music across as well. That's a, that's a really excellent point, and I think a lot of that for us has been trial and error, and just. Uh, just playing a ton of shows to the point where we can like jump up on a stage at least as a duo and just uh you know we're the muscle memory kicks in and we can just play our set and have it be you know assured that it'll sound pretty damn good most of the time i, I think our, our first gigs were like three hour gigs in, in bars which we've all done those gigs before and those are really hard and especially as a duo it's even more difficult so oh, we're yeah. like, we just need to rock the fuck out because there's drunk people that want to dance. We used to play this one venue and it had like six and a half foot ceilings and people would go so fucking crazy on like Wednesday nights. It was just like frat guys and like sororities and like this one, this one chick thought this dude like stole her purse and then she tried to stab him with a candelabra that was like on the <laughs> table and then it the next wild. week they didn't have what candelabras this? there. This yeah. is LA? This is LA, yeah. <laughs> it's like, you got to just bring it. And you can't, there's not like room for, for any kind of lull really. So like, I think that was the, the difficult part for us was like, as we started to play better rooms and, and play to audiences that were listening, it was like, how do we craft the arc of this set where it's, 
you know, we can play like our ballad songs because those are fun to write too and they're fun to perform. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, speaking of muscle memory, I was at the gym earlier. I can and tell. I was listening I to, I mean, come on. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was listening oh, yeah. to the music and I was watching videos of performances and here are the notes that I took while I was running. When you just <laughs> notes while you were running? Yeah, I was running uh, on the elliptical thing. Oh shit! Uh, hmm. Not elliptical because that's anyway. Yeah, it's a ski. Yeah. When that? you just when you just I have when you just have you two, you don't just cover "Bring It On Home" because it's a nice song, right? You totally make it your own and put ten different moments in it so that it's not just that you're good players and you're good singers and it's a good song, but you're actually giving people all these other reasons to come see you play and become a true fan they do Thank bring it you. on home and uh not not the zeppelin cover but bring it on the home sam from cook. sam yeah. cook yeah. and uh you've heard that song a hundred billion times but they do it differently and they make it they cater exactly to their sound and just the two of them make it such a fun different experience and it, there's little moments throughout and you know it seems like you do that with with your songs too. Thank you. Thank so, you. Yeah. Please was, check that video out on YouTube and, and read the comments because we get we we've been trolled on that video. <laughs> a little bit. Bring it to me. Bring your sweet love. Would you want to record that song? And I don't know. I don't know if we're like really. Uh, I guess we did. We did record a cover recently, but mostly we're we're working on originals. But we should throw that back in the set list. Yeah, that's a fun yeah, that's one. a good yeah. one. You should do his segment. Maybe I can switch with him. What's the segment all about? I'm what is the segment all about? Oh, I, you don't even know what it is, but it's fun. Jay Dumachowski, it. everybody, is going to have a segment. Let's do a segment so I can piss. So. There can be a tie, which a tie would kind of be good. Would be the best for the relationship. Ever. I imagine the relationship. they would be the best. Yes. Thing. Now, you did talk about switching it up. I was going to use the <laughs> XTC Mummer cover um, because this is really just kind of a ploy to. Uh, I mean, we want to hear about all your shit, whatever. Yeah, okay, but uh, we really just want to get XTC to tour uh, soon and. All these shows are, are going to be pretty much devoted just to that. Come on, tour Nashville happy hour. Oh, oh yeah. man. You can't Wouldn't see be it because we're standing in front of it, but this cheese cheese selection back here. <laughs> it's fucking oh, they're British. Primo. But no, let's I go back to, to the real stuff. thing. Yes. That's the Stephen Stills. Um, Can I use that pen? Seminal 1978 release Here's with something. the with the huge hit. Go ahead. Wait, server? Wait. Oh, yeah. Make, a, make the horse run, Dean. You do it. It's usually my thing, but that's... Go ahead and do it. With the huge hits... Can't get no booty, and you can't dance alone. It's a horse this is right? the guy who wrote Sweet so. Judy Blue Eyes. <laughs> Wait, that's the same. Can't get no can't booty. Get no booty. booty. Can't get no booty. Your name, your band name, and your last name, and now your last name as well, mm -hmm. um, is what we would call alliterative. I am going to list albums of other bands with alliterative names. So, for example, what would you give it as an alliteration? Um, beautiful butterfly. There we go. Two Wait, so, be so it's like Smooth Hound Smith because there's an S and an S? So, would you say the pesky perpetrator pilfered your plentiful stock of profitable playthings? No, I'd just say I got robbed. Number one. Here's the first. Once you know it, you chime in. First record, The Lonesome Crowded West. Second record, The Moon and Antarctica. Antarctica. Sorry. Third the third record, Good News for People Who Love Bad News. What is the band? Good news for people. So the band 
it's alliterative? The band name is alliterative, and they recorded these three records. Yes. Franz Ferdinand. That is incorrect. Oh, that is close. <laughs> can, can, can one of our hosts jump in? Hey, Truffle Mouth, what do you say? Marble Mouth. Modest Mouse. That's so yes. Franz Ferdinand. Is that what you it could is? have said Marble Mouth, but yes. Damn it. Modest Mouse is correct. Next one. This band only had two. Two okay. albums. Two albums. Litter of names. The third record is the name of their band, so I can't use it. All right. First record, Helplessness Blues and Crack Up. Yes. Friends for Ferdinand? It is a double F. It is a double F. They are a medieval-sounding kind of Paul Simon and Garfunkel. Foo Fighters! Foo Incorrect. Fighters. You're very close. You're very close. Five for fighting? Fleet Foxes. Please. That is awesome. funny. Next band. <laughs> Next band. This is. I'm gonna give you four records for this one. Hot Sauce Committee Part Two. To the Five Burrows. Hello Nasty. Yes. Is it Beastie Boys? It is oh. Beastie Boys. Hey, I got one. Let's ask for a point, point here. Here we go. You're cheating. Stop cheating. I'm not this cheating. This band. Man. Hard Candy. Mm. This Desert Life. Recovering the satellite. Get it, She got it! Oh, oh he's got it one, 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 one. Yeah. one, one. It doesn't matter. Here we go. It's Next band. Seven and the Ragged Tiger. Notorious. Rio. Mm. They're too young. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe. Dean, I will permit you to sing the title track. Go ahead. My name is Rio and uh, Duran Duran. You got it! Thanks for the hint. All right. That 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 did it. Next one. Technically alliteration if the if the two words are. Don't be a sore loser. (laughs) Here we go. Next one. Holland. Carl and the Passions. Smile. Yes. Beach Boys. Got it. Yep. Ah, I was gonna. All right, what is it? Two two. It's two two. Oh no! Oh no! All right. Duke's up, this... baby. Duke's up. Make... Here we go. Wasting light. In your honor. Concrete and gold. There's nothing left to lose. The color and the shape. Yes, that's Foo Fighters. Yeah. yeah. Last part. This is very modern and obscure, but it's kind of in your milieu, so you may get it. All right. The psychedelic swamp. Be the void and shame, shame. This is an obscure. Shame, shame is alliterative on its own. It is, right? That's that right. doesn't mean you get a point for pointing that out. What was the second one you said? Be the void. Be the, be the void. void. That sounds familiar. I don't know anything about music. I'll give you a hint. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This, this was my obscure one. I was going to use it. Oh, was it's it? Dr. Dog. Oh, oh I actually yeah. knew that. I thought you, I, like, I thought you would. Yeah, I thought you would. I thought you would. Know that. Well, oh. congratulations. You're the winner. Zach, you won by one. That means you won. It was Jack and Jack. Thank you, you Ockmock, for sponsoring us. See those sesame? Delicious sesame. Mmm. Hot. Mm. <laughs> in every cracker. I will drown my sorrows. Crack. In every cracker. You were both good. You guys, oh, you're great. I feel kind of compelled to uh, listen to some music right now. So do I. Shall we rock? Yeah, let's rock and roll. Let's well, rock. let's folk rock. Every week. We should, we should every go week, to his. Right? Uh, uh, yeah. I'm sorry, this is so janky, everybody. That's the, that's the charm of it. How is the light over here? Look at this. I love this. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that's what happened. Smith. Are we going to hear a, a Smith Hound classic? Or are we going to hear a new one? We're going to do a relatively new one. Uh, it will be on the new record. Have you performed it before? We For performed anyone? it, yeah. Times. A couple times. Not of, too much. In front of a filmed? Uh, uh, oh, I don't never. know. Never. Never. I don't know. So would we be able to call this <clears throat> an exclusive? Yes. Uh, uh, sure. yes. <laughs> he wants that so bad. <laughs> Oh, you want that so bad. Oh, Andrew, everybody, 
<laughs> We've certainly never performed it in front of so many Molly Crew Kiss and uh, <laughs> Twisted Sister cassettes. This is called Truck Stop Shower. Here we go. That I know to get clean and still keep drinking. I grab a beer and a towel and I'll tell you just what I'm thinking. The truck stop shower. The truck stop shower. The truck stop shower. Get yourself a truck stop shower. Lights glowing if you need anything, you just talk. A truck stop shower. A truck stop shower. Get in here and sing that. A truck stop shower. Get yourself a truck stop shower. We should do a show. We should play. We Soon. should make a band. Soon, we should do a show. Yeah. We should do it like, like, like the, right here in Nashville. Yeah, like, like on the 9th of March. Right. At a That's place, a good day. place that you can play golf at. Why not? And you're playing with a few other people too, right? Forlorn Strangers. Oh, I love Katie. them. Katie Buxton. Yep. Yeah. It's gonna be awesome. a good night. It's gonna be a great show. You guys are gonna be well, if you're in the Nashville area, or even if you're not, you should come to Nashville next Friday, March 9th. And come to the Cowan at Top Golf to see Smooth Hound Smith. Don't find yes. yourself trapped in the <laughs> sand, oh so God. to speak, by not coming to Top Golf. <laughs> you don't want to. It's a sand trap. One of these days, your joke will be a hole in one. I think I made par at least. Oh, I was gonna oh. say you were <laughs> off par on that one. I feel like that's East Nashville happy hour. We covered a lot of bases here. Yeah. We had a great time. We covered we some bases. Yeah. For Andrew Leahy, he's right over there. 
for Jay Dubachowski. Woo! I'm Dean Moore. This is Zach Smith. This is Caitlin Doyle Smith. And there's Smooth on Smith. And we're East Nashville Happy Hour. So glad to be back. See you next week. Bye. Bye. Because we wear the same jacket. The same jacket. He's always been a big fan of like the, the, the late night shows and things like that. And the so continuity of the mm -hmm. beginning. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. I dig it. He'll come to me and be like, How about this? I'm like, Okay. <laughs> like, how about this? I'm like, All right. If you're going to fulfill your childhood fantasies, I'm not going to stay in there. <laughs> but I've always wanted to lock him out. I've always wanted to. <laughs> I really did. Just like when, with the big tiger and the Flintstones, remember when he gets locked out of the shit? Remember they throw him through the window? <laughs> Ooh. The intro to the Flintstones, the, the oh. big cat, the oh, big the cat. saber tooth, yeah, okay. yeah, the saber tooth thing is yeah. going out, yeah, yeah. So long, folks, and thanks, Harry. See you next episode, everybody. Bye. Bye.